Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. What do you do if you can't put your leaves in a compost bin? Well, I'm going to show you how you simply put them on top of the bed here, cover them up, and come spring, you'll have great soil. Maybe you don't have room for something like this. That's perfectly fine. You can run your leaves over in a lawnmower, chop them up. That helps a little bit. Or just rake them up. We're going to put these maybe four to six inches right on that garden plot, that spot, that four by four space. You can do that anywhere couple of tarps, something to weigh it down, and that's all you really do. Those leaves will be eaten up by worms and such, and you'll have great soil come the spring. So you definitely want to do this on a day that's not windy. There are my leaves. They're going to go right into this bed right there. If you can have, get them chopped up, that's great. Certain leaves, like oak leaves, are really thick. You definitely want those chopped up. A lot of leaves you can just put into a container like this, crunch them up with your hand, and be perfectly fine. So tarps, something to weigh the tarps down. First thing you want to do is just soak the soil down. We're going to be putting a tarp on top of here so when it rains not a lot of water will be getting in there. Soak it in nicely. Next step is to really dump the leaves on. The leaves are down and because the soil was high in this frame bed, you know I put more in the middle. That's perfectly fine. Again, two inches, four inches, six inches. Leaves are going to be dry. Soak them down too nicely. That's all you're going to have to do water-wise for the next four or five months. Again, best time to do this is in the fall. It's the beginning of November. And I'll undo this really come March, April, and it's going to be really broken down. All right, let's tarp it up. All right, that's pretty much all you have to do is put some leaves down. If they're thick, make sure they're chopped up. If you can chop them up, chop them up. If not, just drop the leaves. Don't overstress about it. Two to six inches. Cover it with the tarp, really weigh it down. That's going to be your biggest issue over the next five months is the wind blowing that away. So weigh it down nicely and come back in four or five months. You can do this for any bed. You can do it for half of a bed. You can do it for raised beds. You can do it right on the ground. Anyway, please subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on how to kind of use this principle of putting different things under the tarp, letting it break down, mostly worms, tons of worm castings, and come spring, your garden will be good to go. Thanks for watching.